Hi, Bob here from AZ3D Graphics, and today we're going to demonstrate on how to reassemble the Master Airbrush. This is a model G22, but it should be just about good for any airbrush. Some of the some of the things when people reassemble them, they have some problems with this trigger and the little guide that goes behind it. So I'm going to show you how to do that and hopefully without raising too much frustration. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to start taking the, taking the pieces off. First, we're going to take off the nozzle, then the back cover, the needle chuck, the needle, this is the needle guide, this is the needle guide nut, so that comes off, and screws out a little ways, we have a spring, and then we have the needle guide itself, or the needle guide shaft. Then the trigger comes out. And the last but not least, last but not least, we have this small little piece that probably frustrates everybody. And that's, that's the needle guide. So let's start reassembling this now. The trigger goes, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a hole in here. It, it runs right down the shaft that this part goes into. So we're going to install that now. Remember when you're, when you're doing this, the top part has the ridges, and the ridges go away from the bowl. Okay, it, it can be a little tricky, but with a little practice and a little time it goes in. Now the, the critical part here is to take this little needle guide and it's it's sort of got a hump to it and the part the part with the hump let me grab that again the part with the hump goes again away from the bowl it goes up so you're going to grab it near the top slip it in there And then turn and then just let it just let it lay down that's that's as easy as it gets okay then then the needle shaft it only fits one way the spring goes over the shaft then the retain the retaining nut goes in make sure you're not cross threading or anything. Once you get this snug down, not very tight, just once 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 it once you hit the end you'll know. Then check and make sure everything works, you have good action. Then your needle, pointy side in, the sharpest side goes in first, and then push that until you feel it hit the end. 
and then pull it back just the tiniest bit amount. Then put your needle chuck in, screw that on, screw your cap on, there, and that is how that works. So if you found this useful at all, like, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, put them in the forum. Let me know. I'll try to answer all that I can. Uh, 